All right, I'm in Queens, and I'm going to go to a local uh, comic convention. I think there's 40 booths here, so we'll check out what kind of books they have, and maybe I can uh, get some pickups, right? So let's go check out the show here. This must be the place. I see a familiar face here. Oh, here it is. Should we go inside? star is looking to have some comic cons in Queens so they're gonna start them up have some local conventions I think it's pretty cool I thought I'd come check it out this is a humongous space right look at the size of this place and let's check out this booth here West Village Comics I've seen them at the Big Apple Comic Con and they have a box full of uh, bangers here that are all slapped oh this is a original canto here volume one nine eight <laughs> Another banger, look at this. All the hits in here, Mace Windu, Star Wars book. Shiny CGC cases here. <laughs> All right, cool. And this is in uh, Fresh Meadows, Queens. Another Canto. We are on Union Terrapike in uh, Fresh Meadows, Queens. Oh, here we go. Amazing Fantasy 1. It's signed too, right? And that was, uh, what, the first uh, Arana? Oh, remember these hip-hop uh, variant covers? Those things were awesome, man. Static. All right, Spider-Gwen. Look at this. And they have a beautiful wall here. Look at all these books. And it's really well lit in here. You can really see the books. There's the Miles Morales over there. Triple kill! Another Canto. He's got a lot of those Cantos, huh? That was like a low pressing, right? When that volume came out, the first volume one. It caught everybody off guard. And that book is pretty rare now. Are you serious? All right. We got... Uh, was that Riri Williams? The Black Knight book. Remember how crazy the Black Knight was book? That was what, at the end of the Eternals, right? He showed up. And before that movie came out, everybody was going crazy. Nice wall here, right? Some Star Wars books. Remember how crazy everybody was going over this book? Was it last year? <laughs> it was like uh, 150 bucks at one point, wasn't it? Now it's like $10, right? <laughs> All right, so he's got a bunch of uh, keys in here, right? <laughs> Little Deadpool action. All right, cool. This is a great booth, man. These are all wall books. And they're in the bin, so you can go over them. Oh, classic Ghost Rider, right? <laughs> and, uh, oh, man, look at this. He's got a Gabriel Del Otto section. Look at all these beautiful variant covers. I love that Batman Who Laughs. That was awesome, man. And Gabriel Del Otto has uh, a bunch of these beautiful covers. Uh, Bulletproof, my LCS in Brooklyn. Has a relationship with Gabriel. He does a lot of covers for them. Oh, he did Justice League? He did the Rebirth number one? Del Otto? I didn't know that. I know he did a lot of those death metals, right? Dark Knight's Metal, Death Metal, Speed Metal, DC Darkness. Like a classically trained painter from Italy? He's awesome. Here's one here. Oh, is this a Bulletproof uh, book? I think this might be a uh, store exclusive. Bulletproof. Very cool. Oh, Invincible. You know, you don't see a lot of these single-issue Invincibles around, right? It's cool to see them. I guess the uh, when it came out, I guess it wasn't so popular. It, uh, it was kind of uh, low print runs, right? It wasn't really like 100,000, right? W what were the print runs on these? Like 40,000 or something? Yes. Bat Batman Beyond Unlimited, number one. Let me grab that, right? Let me see if they have number two or three. Oh, here's number two. 
Looks like it's in good shape, too. Let me actually grab this. You got to be careful about these cons, right? You spend too much money? I try to have a limit here. Here's another booth with some Funko Pop and some uh, collectibles. I try to come in here and have a limit, you know? No, you. I don't want to spend, go too crazy. Oh, hell no! And I will show you my haul. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll make another video. I'll show you my haul on the next video right after this one. So uh, here's a little artist alley here. All right, they got some artists here. And let's check out the other boots here. This is a nice big space. And there was, uh, there was an admission to get in. It was $3 to get in. That's totally fair, right? Three bucks to get in, kind of cool. And I'll support it if they keep having them, right? Because I know they have a bunch of conventions, uh, you know, like mini Comic Cons in Long Island and New Jersey. Uh, it's pretty cool to have one in Queens, right? Kind of close. There's a little McFarlane Spider-Man. Oh, here's another booth. This booth looked really cool. Oh, yes. Look at that deceased. It's great. I'm going to grab some books here, too, because this is a cool booth. Sometimes at the smaller booths, you find a lot of good deals. And I think the smaller cons are better than the bigger cons, actually, for buying books. I think you find better deals at the smaller cons. Let me know in the comments below if you find that to be the case. Oh, Rye. Here we go. N number zero? Is that number zero? Miss Marvel, one? Wow! Man, should I grab this? Is that the Venom uh, one, the John Donny Cates? I hate to buy slabs, though, right? You really want to find, when you're hunting around, you want to find raw books, you know? Find a nice copy of a raw. Maybe you'll, you'll get a better deal. Oh, here's another Gabriel Delato. Oh, this is Bulletproof. This is a Bulletproof exclusive, isn't it? And it's a naked trade dress, naked variant. That's awesome, man. Exo, he's got a lot of Valiant in this uh, box here. Exo Manowar. Which one is this? Is this the Venditti run? Nope. He's got a lot of Valiant in here. He had uh, Absolute Carnage. Here's another man always. He's got a bunch of them here. Nope. Well, here we go. First Erica Slaughter. Is that number one? It was a variant cover, and it was signed by James Tinnan. Oh, here we go. Mr. Sinister. What was that, 85 bucks? It must be in. Uh, it must be a high-grade copy. It looked pretty good. Oh, here, here we go. Here's a raw one. Let me grab the raw one. Rye? And at these booths, they are, they are priced. They are priced here, but they're all given deals. If you come up with like five or six books, they say, ah, you know, they they give you kind of a deal. Like the last booth just gave me a deal on a bunch of the books that I got over there. So I think the pricing is good here. Oh, yes. Was that a Shogun? Oh, look at this flash book. Yes. <laughs> Silver Age with the uh, the checkers along the top. Flash and Doom Patrol. Awesome. A little Moon Knight action. All right, so this is another, like, little, uh... Cool key box. And there was, um... This is the second volume of Kanto, right? The Hollow Men. Star Wars, Luke Cage. Oh, look at that lenticular cover. That cover's awesome. I'm seeing it regular, but my camera was on an angle, so that's why you sort of blurry. Isn't that kind of cool? Oh, another flash. Look at this. Awesome flash there. All right. I wanted to uh, maybe go through some books. I had some comments below. You guys wanted me to go through more back issues. Oh, here's the Bloodshot 1. Here we go. You guys like this uh, Valiant? I have this book, though, but that looks like it's in better shape than mine. Oh, here's the hate book. Look at this. Another flash. Man, I'm seeing a lot of cool books at this show. Remember people going crazy over this book? Because they thought that Spider-Man movie was going to have Mephisto in it? The No Way Home? But it didn't turn out that, that he was in it. Nope. Uh, I have this book. The uh, second printing of the first cable. All right. Another Invincible. Cool, man. All right, let me know in the comments below if you guys have uh, oh, a real American early 80s. Oh, I have this book, but I have a beat-up copy. This looks mint, this copy. Look at this copy. How sharp that looks. Should I grab this? You serious? 
These are great because a lot of these flash books aren't on the census, the early books. So they're really like uh, not priced because they don't move that much. So uh, the pricing is like from 10 years ago because one hasn't sold in that long. That's cool. It's a. Uh, you get it. I, I think they're way, way undervalued. That Deep Beyond book is already in this bin? Oh, it was Bloodshot. That Deep Beyond book uh, was an indie that came out this year, didn't it? This Bloodshot movie, we kind of, uh, it came and went, right? We didn't never heard from it again? I missed it, too. I didn't go see it. I should track it down on cable, right? Let me know in the comments below if you saw Bloodshot, what you thought of it. I was going to go, I don't want to make this video too long, so I was going to go through, oh, there's a bunch of She-Hulk in here. Oh, yes. Adventure Comics. Oh, Shogun War, yes. I should grab this, right? Should I grab that? There's a Bronze Age X-Men. This looks like it's in good shape. I should really look at this, right? Should I pull that out and look at it? Superboy, a little Tarzan. Yeah, let me know if you guys have uh, local conventions by you, like little mini conventions. These things are kind of cool, and I think the uh, I think you get better deals at these than actually the bigger cons. Oh man, this one looks like it's in good shape. My grading skills. Let's see how good this is. All right, let's check out their wall. Got Moon Knight. They got that the McFarlane Batman. Something is killing the children. A nine eight. That's the uh, number one. That's not the foil one. That's the real real deal one there. All right, this is another booth here, and she has a nice wall here. Ice Cream Man number one. Right? Nice little wall. Vengeance of Bane. You think that book is underrated? That Vengeance of Bane? All right, cool. She's got sets here, too. What a good idea. House of M, the whole set. 50 bucks. That's cool to have sets here. Moon Knight set. Look at this. Pretty cool, right? Vision, that little mini series, right? Oh, f yes, Flashpoint! Hell yeah, this movie is gonna rock. You can tell that new movie, uh, Spider Man No Way Home, copied Flashpoint. So, that movie was really good when I saw it. I don't know if you guys seen it, but like one to ten, that movie was like an eight and a half. You know, Flashpoint is gonna be a banger. It's gonna be like a ten. All right, here we go. Here's the. Uh, we got some more collectibles. Then we have some more uh, artist alley over here. They got a lot of boots in here. Uh, another artist. I got here kind of late though today, so maybe uh, three or four boots packed up already. It's two days. It's Saturday and Sunday, and they always have this psychic here. Why do they? <laughs> <laughs> At Big Apple Comic Con, they had the Psychic too. All right, you have the uh, Lone Wolf Comics and uh, Yasu's Collectibles. He was at Big Apple Comic Con, right? This booth. Awesome. She asked us if we need any help. All right, we'll skim through these and we'll check out that wall too, right? Nice. Static. New Gods, right? Ultimate Fallout 4. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number one. All right, pretty cool right, wall, right? right? Let's go to this middle booth. There's a booth in the middle I wanted to check out. There was like three or four of them, but they look like there was a good one in the middle here. I tried to give the each booth a shout out. This is Epic Robo Spider. Each booth, I tried to show who they were to give a little shout out if you want to see what they were. Elite of Battle Angel. This movie was awesome, man. It was underrated. Attack on Titan. This is awesome, too. All right, let's go to the front of this booth, and we'll get some books. Oh, yes! Up, up, and away! Jeff Johns? This is a great series right here. Was this number three? Number four? <laughs> All right, number three. That cover is awesome, right? And we got number four here. Oh, I might grab these. are only a buck. These are only a dollar, and these are in mint shape. These are in good shape. All right, if you want to check out my haul, too, I'll make another video. I don't want this video to be too long. Check out the video right after this, and it'll be the haul. 
the haul of all the books I got because I don't want to uh, kill you guys here. Making it too long, making it kind of quick. Noob. You serious? All right, this is like kind of a cool con, right? And here's some more. Uh, looks like they got some Beta Ray Thor on the left there too. Maybe that's the. Oh, here we go. All Star Superman. I had this uh, whole series, but that's like a middle school. Was that number four or five? Smallville. All right, and this. Uh, oh, look at this. Jeff Johns Flash, and this is mint. All right, this guy was from upstate New York. He said he was from West Point area. So if you want to check out his booth, or uh, I think he has a store. I have the Silver Surfer book. Oh, Evil Ernie. Look at this. All right, so let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. I tried to be quick and show you guys. You, you said you wanted me to go through some back issues and some uh, long boxes. So this would be a cool video before the holidays. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you. And check out the video after this. I'll show you my pulse. All right? Take care.